Well, Rajdeep, you're absolutely right. This issue of this menace of corruption has to be dealt across party lines. There is no denial about the fact that this is a menace that has plagued the entire political system of our country. Having said that, uh, merely stating this is not enough. There has to be a commitment, which unfortunately I don't see from the con con Congress party who is currently governing the state of Maharashtra. It's a futile expectation to expect Congress party to act firmly against corruption. And this is evident from the way they have handled this issue. It is certainly too late and too little. Let me first deal with too late. We have uh, Honorable Sri Pranam Mukherjee coming out and stating that the decision we have taken is based on perception and the, uh, and the records that we have produced. Were these records available to them in the first three days of this expose? Didn't they get this perception in the first three days of this expose? What took them two weeks to act upon? Right. Kind, they have given Ashok Chavan enough time to wipe out enough evidence to take care of enough files and rightly so for reasons best known to them so that they are not embarrassed any further. Now let me come to too little. Is it only the responsibility of the Chief Minister of Maharashtra to take decisions? Isn't the cabinet also responsible for this? It's a collect to my mind, this is a collective responsibility of the entire cabinet. And more so in the current scenario, where you have almost every member of the cabinet having something to do with this allotment. Okay. It is the responsibility of the Congress party to pin down each and every guilty member of this parliament. Okay, so you're, three, you're virtually I do not saying, understand you're virtually the double suggesting standard. sack the entire Maharashtra not, cabinet. You're virtually saying sack the well, entire the Maharashtra cabinet. With the, with the, with the, with the Chief Minister of Maharashtra stepping down, the entire cabinet is dissolved. Okay. But I want Congress party to come on record and state that they are going to take affirmative strict action against every member of their cabinet, every union minister who is involved in this scam. We have got two union ministers from the Congress who were former Maharashtra chief ministers and who have directly played a role in this allotment. Okay, point taken. You know, uh, Kumar Ketkar, the political debate will continue, but I want you as the wise sage of journalism to tell us, what is, what do you believe is the answer? You know, this is a country now groping for answers. We can go on about saying we are 86th in the corruption list on Transparency International, that our politicians find themselves regularly in scams, that our bureaucrats, army officers, journalists are all involved, judges are involved. What's the solution you see, Kumar, for this crisis? Well, I think it is nowadays absurd to mention even Mao Chetung's name or even Gandhiji's name. It's only in the speeches that we mention Gandhi. And the left wing attaches Mao Chetung a kind of a halo. But the point is Mao started cultural revolution and Gandhi started character reform movement. But nobody cares for character reform movement and nobody cares for cultural revolution. I think it is unless people's movement is launched, 